convincing anyone. No. In the depths of South London, through the undergrowth, you'll find the oldest models of dinosaurs in the world. Welcome to Crystal Palace Park. They're stunning and massive and crazy old, and luckily, they put a fence up to stop them escaping. Clever girl. But the problem is, they are crazily inaccurate. The nose horn that's on the top of those two should be on its thumbs. And if this big old thing laid around like a seal, like it's doing here, it would just die because it needs movement to breathe like a shark. And don't even get me started on what this thing's meant to be. It looks like something I would draw as a kid. And that's not really that far from the truth. We basically didn't know any better. In 1854, when this thing was unveiled, we only had fossils of the hip, thigh, and a bit of the spine. Sir Richard Owen, the guy who built them, kind of just had to make the rest of it up. How was he supposed to know that it walks on its hind legs more like a T-Rex? <laughs> we have a T-Rex. And that's sort of their charm. They're a century-old tribute to a simpler time. Like when you find yourself on an old MySpace page. <laughs> They were launched in typical Victorian fashion with a grand banquet inside one of the moulds. Look how fantastically impractical this is. How are they getting food? How did they even get into this thing? And now they're just here. There's very little explanation for them. They're looking a bit tired, but they're in the process of being renovated. But they're well worth the adventure to come and find. If nothing else, to see how far science has come. <laughs>